Well, we have our main code, which is line following, and we can go around the water tower. So we can do a lot of the things in a course. We can't rescue the can yet, and we can't turn on green. So in the code, we have the line following part here, and we have the round the water tower here. What happens after it goes around the water tower? Because this looks like it's going to follow the line to the water tower, then what? Let's have a look and see what will happen next. Okay, so we saw that it kept line following after it went around the can. So it looks like it's done this part, it's done this part, and then we've got our forever loop and it's gone back to do this. What would happen if there was another water tower? Would it keep going through? Or would it just keep line following? What if there was three water towers? Okay, so let's have a look and see whether it can get around um, two water towers. Alright, it appears that it can keep line following and do as many water towers as we want. So how is that working? So if you remember, if we just take some pieces out, we've got two separate bits of code. So we've got our forever loop over here, we've got the line following here, and we've got the water tower here. And notice that this is not in the else part. It's just another block of code. So what the program does is it reads through this and it looks for this condition and it's also looking for this at the same time. So it's like two different bits of code and whichever one it finds first is what it's going to do. And that's in the forever loop. So it can follow the line, keep following the line, keep following the line, find a water tower, then keep following the line, or go around two water towers in a row. If there were two water towers and no black line, it would do the two water towers in a row. So our next step is to get our robot to work out when it's in the spill area or when it's about to enter the spill area. And if you look at the tile, you'll notice that there's a strip of silver on there and that's going to have a big part in telling the robot what to do in the next section of code. So we'll do that next and hopefully after that we've just got green turns to do.